Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you already know, uh, we have been speaking about faction bonuses for every single legion type. Last video was about Wilderberg and now it's time for us to speak about one of the most popular factions in the game which is uh, League, of, League of Order. For that I created the another account in order for us to speak directly about every single Legion type. Uh, you should already know that the Legion types are determin determining uh, your way of playing the game. For example for Wilderberg it's already known that it's a marksman faction and for League of Orders it's uh, well known that it's mainly for the mages. First legion type which we're gonna speak uh, is of course marksmen, uh, ballistas, that's how are how they are called for League of Order. And the main skill for the ballistas are in enhanced torsion, increases normal attack damage dealt by 10% as long as the legion has not moved for 4 seconds. While in the battle only takes effect when our whole legion is ballistas. Well, this is a new style of playing uh, marksman. Generally, you are standing still, not moving around. Uh, it's it would be more beneficial for tier five players because they are more tanky. Uh, but for tier four players, it would be really really bad if you won't gonna move because you will get targeted by mages and celestials, which has a higher, uh, more range than ballistas in general. That's why. I think uh, this skill is not the amazing, that's why Ballistas are not main marksman units in the game. The next one uh, is about uh, Westhals, which are mage units for the League of Order. And generally in the League of Order faction, uh, main units are mages. Uh, and that's why special units are also mages. The magic ranged magic units can deal magic damage from distance, provide magical buffs to friendly legions. And the buff are, is Blessing, uh, grants a boost to a one surrounding friendly legion every 3 seconds while in battle. Increasing their HP by 20% uh, only takes effect whenever there is whole legion uh, Vestals. For the uh, Wilderberg faction mages, they are giving 20% attack and Westhals are giving 20% HP. Uh, HP is great, especially for the free-to-play players. Uh, I guess uh, the HP gives you more survivability in the battle and more time to deal more skill damage uh, with your skills of the mage hero pairs. A pretty cool uh, legion type. Uh, I guess the Westhals are and Celestials are main reason why League of Orders are main mage uh, faction. The next one will be Knights. They are melee cavalry units. Uh, the first one is also like normal. Um, only Spring Warden's faction has a different kind of uh, cavalry units which are ranged. And the uh, Knights are of course melee uh, units with the high march speed. The second skill is Undelying Rush. March speed increases when approaching the target legion. After colliding with the ranged legion, the hero commanding this legion gains 1000 uh, rage. That's like uh, almost every single faction's uh, skill is like this, 1000 range uh, for whenever you are fighting against range units. Uh, great skill in general for cavalry units, it's pretty niche. You have only one playstyle as a cavalry player, that's why I wouldn't recommend uh, this playstyle and in general playing with the cavalry units as a main unit for effort to play players. Their search kill, Knights Counterattack. Uh, knights can launch a counterattack when attacked by ranged units, but deal half of their counterattack damage. Well, pretty basic cavalry unit, that's why uh, League of Order is not popular with their cavalry units. Um, like in general, if you would like to pay, play with Cavs, you would have to go with Spring Wardens. That's a main um, Cavs faction, in my opinion. Uh, after that, there is Infantry Unit, Swordsman, uh, Infantry Melee Unit, and we have four skills here. Uh, first one is Berserker Charge, like uh, where you are getting March Speed uh, Reduction whenever you are hitting enemy. Also, a Berserker Charge can interrupt the Cavalry skill Underlying Rush, so more uh, tanky and interrupting stuff for the Swordsman, which is pretty basic with almost every single Infantry uh, Faction uh, legions. 
preparedness, increasing engineering, pretty normal. Generally, me, I always use infantry units for the engineering or destroying the towers. I'm pretty sure you are doing the same, so that's nothing uh, spectacular. Perseverance, uh, each time the Legion uh, loses 3% of its units, their physical defense increases by 1.5. Uh, pretty normal skill, almost every single infantry has this skill, so there is not, not much to speak about here. Swordsman counterattack. Swordsman can launch a counterattack when attacked by ranged units, but deal half of their counterattack damage. Uh, that's another reason why League of Order is not maining so infantry units. There is not a specific skill which is only for League of Order's infantry. Uh, that's why, uh, in general, uh, League of Orders are maining uh, mages and celestials. Unfortunately, here I'm not have, having celestials uh, recruitment building, which is simply because my Hell of Order is pretty low. For that, we are going back to the main account. Uh, in order for us to check Celestials in a faction change um, screen, uh, this is like the main idea why I'm playing only one account, uh, like I'm focusing all of my attention here, that's why in order for me to make a video about other faction, I have to make a new account. Uh, so the Celestials and Mages are in general main reason why League of Order is main mage account, uh, main mage faction. Uh, in general, Celestials are getting more march speed, they are magic range flying unit, and they are getting magic attack increase. Uh, like, that's the best way of playing mages, in my opinion, by picking League of Order. A uh, Walder is one of the best epic mage, in, in general, epic hero in the game. Uh, you are getting HP from the Celestials in order to stay alive as much as possible, and you have two mage legions, uh, like uh, from the Celestials and from the uh, Vestals. If you are uh, start here and you are just starting the game as a beginner, I would highly recommend you to go for a League of Order. You will have a lot of fun um, playing around with mages, with the ranged, and in general, I think League of Order is one of the best free-to-play friendly faction, not even only free-to-play faction, even a lot of pay-to-win players are using League of Order simply because uh, they are, you are having two best ranged units in the game, which is Celestials and which is Westals. Other uh, units has nothing spectacular, nothing like extraordinary, they are pretty basic. Uh, only main idea about whole faction is about having Westals and is about having Celestials. Of course, uh, Walder is helping you a lot. Uh, it's a pretty big boost whenever you have uh, the best epic hero uh, in terms of fighting in the game as a starting hero and it will be really, really easy for you to awaken Walder in general. Also, uh, the Atheist is Celestial Hero, and like in general, if you're gonna speak about hero pairs for League of Order, well, there is amazing uh, magic epic hero, while well, it is of course the best hero pair for Walder. And if you are going to play with uh, Celestials, uh, Atheus and Thea is the best way to play around with the Celestials. Both of the heroes are buffing each other, uh, the Celestials are buffing themselves with the attack, and also, like, especially if you are a free-to-play player, you are utilizing your range uh, in the game, uh, and that's how you are not getting hit and getting attacked by tier 5 players. So, if you are a free-to-play player like me, and you like to play with mages, you have to go with the League of Order, that's a mandatory. If you are a marksman player like me, then you, of course, going with the League of with Wilderberg, with more Legion physical attack and uh, Wyverns as a marksman special units. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak about the League of Orders uh, units and special skills. It's pretty known that League of Order is a magic uh, faction. Of course, I'm uh, waiting for infantry faction. It's been a while since like one. It's uh, it's been a one year since the game came out and. It's time for us to have more and more faction, it's gonna give game a lot more fun uh, and a lot more new strategies and a lot more new content to make. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, give me your ideas why you like to play with League of Order, maybe you like to play with Spring Wardens or Wilderberg. Share your experience, uh, tell me why you, do you like to play with your current faction or maybe you are thinking to changing it. 
as you can see i have been playing as a spring warden my whole time as a 11 months free to play player and whenever i understood that i was maining my marksman i changed my idea and i i switched to wilderberg because that's the best way of playing marksman in my opinion especially after these 10 lands i'm going to have a lot of fun i'm not uh, thinking of being the best uh, player my main aim and main, my main job and goal is to soak up as much fun as possible out of the game uh, thanks for watching i hope you are having amazing day uh, night morning or evening um, i'm gonna continue making more videos because uh, it's become my hobby uh, if you like the content i'm trying to make press like press uh, share subscribe comment it, it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this game. I hope you are enjoying the Call of Dragons. Uh, we're gonna see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye.